This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well as you can see I'm not in right now, I'm uh, traveling in the US, but I didn't want to leave you guys without new videos, so I pre-recorded a few in the Assets series and this is one of them, okay? So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll be back soon with more, okay? Bye! Okay guys, well let's get started. In this episode of our Asset Library series, we are going to go for a braided leather look. And I'll show an example so you know what I'm talking about, hang on. Basically something looking like the handle of this uh, bullwhip, okay? Now it's not only for a bullwhip, you can use this for a braided hair effect, you can use it for, yeah, go away. So a uh, braided hair effect, you can use it for a bag handle, a backpack handle, a belt, anything you can think of that can use that effect, right? Cool, so let's get started. Okay, so in Maya, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a polygon cube, I'm gonna hit F to zoom in on it, hit R to scale it in, push it in nice and flat, I'm gonna hit E to rotate it, I'll hold down J as I do so, to set it upright like this. And then I'm gonna hit R and stretch it out a little bit until we get the shape, okay? Now this thing is gonna be bent, so I need some subdivision. So I'm gonna to go to, uh, where is the Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, Multiple, and we're gonna set that to three. And I'm gonna do three here and three there. Hit Q on the keyboard and go to Object Mode. So that's all good, and next step is we're going to duplicate this guy. So we're going to jump to, let's do this view, all right. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move over until point touches point, and then we're going to hit Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D until we have five. We're going to drag select all of them. We're going to go to Edit, Delete by Type History, Modify and Free Transformation, and then we're gonna to go to Mesh and Combine, and you can see that the pivot has been centered. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I want these to be bent over into a circle, right? So, we're gonna go with this selected to Deform, Non-Linear, and Bend. We need to bend, or not bend, we need to uh, flip down our bend handle. So we're gonna hit E to rotate it, hold down J, until it's flat. And then we need to rotate it one more time. So I'm gonna hit Control A for my attribute editor. I'm gonna go into my bend handle tab and I'm gonna set this value to 90. And we should be good. And that's the wrong one. We need this one, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's give that a try. I'm gonna tweak my curvature and it's bending okay. I'm gonna hit Control Z to go back. but it's not bending in the right direction. So you can see that it needs to go back one step. So we need to rotate the sky a bit more. So hold down J. And now we should be good. So let's try that and there we go. So we're gonna go all the way around 180 degrees. And once we're happy with that, we're gonna drag select it and go to edit, delete by type history. And then we're gonna to go to Modify and Center Pivot. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to tweak this a little bit because as, we, uh, as we're gonna copy this up, um, it's gonna look flat in the vertical position. We don't want that. So I'm gonna select it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to jump to uh, this view and I'm gonna right click and go to Vertex and I'm gonna drag select just the top vertices only and shift drag select the bottom, okay? Now I wanna bring them in, but I wanna do that in a way that it curves the entire model. So I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard for soft select. I'm gonna hold down B and left click and drag to increase and decrease the effect until I'm happy with the impacted area. And I think this will be good, but it's kind of trial and error. So with that selected, I'm gonna hit R to scale this in. And we're gonna slowly do that. And basically this is what we want, right? But 
in a very minimal way. Okay, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna accept that. I'm gonna hit B to turn off my soft select. And uh, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate this and W to move it up. Okay, I'm gonna jump into this view after zoom in. We're gonna hit E to rotate this and we're gonna rotate it until basically this fits in that opening. It's not gonna be a perfect fit. And again, it's a natural material. That's the idea here. So the best way to eyeball this is in the perspective view. All right, so let's have a look. Let's do I think that looks okay. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna bring it up a little bit. And we're gonna hit E and we're gonna rotate that back. And then hit W and push that down a little bit. All right. So now that we have this, we're gonna drag select it. We're gonna hit Control D to duplicate it again. W to move that up. like so, and then we're gonna hit Shift D, Shift D, and keep on going. Okay. Now, if we look at this, it looks even like a little bit like the, you know, the bark of a palm tree, but that's another use you can do with it, okay? So it looks like this. Let's say you have light coming through and you're not happy with that. Now, what you can do is uh, put a cylinder inside to close those gaps, all right? What you, what you can also do is, for example, bend it. So we're gonna select it. We're gonna go to, uh, let's see, um, where is yet? Mesh and combine. And then you can go into deform, nonlinear again, and bend. And if you go into your bend handle and tweak your curvature, there you go, all right? So that is basically all there's to it. Okay, so hopefully this was useful for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And that said, thanks you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.